What's up guys, it's Range Hunter here today, and we're back at the range. We got a new uh, firearm to shoot today. The Kimber Rapid Black Ice in 10 millimeter. Now, this gun was purchased a little while ago. It there has never been shot. We're about to take it for a little shooting and we're gonna do some ballistics on it. Before I continue, um, it's got a True Glow tritium glow-in-the-dark sights and the grip is really nice as well it's got i don't know what this is called but milling. really yeah milling in the in the slide and it feels super good in the hand like you just know it's a really it was worth like about sixteen hundred dollars so definitely we're gonna find out if it's worth the money today so what I got here are some um, Salier and Bellet uh, hollow points. And we're gonna see how these run to the gun. And then we're gonna try some Federal American Eagle 180 grit. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. Yeah. All right, so let's go check out the damage real quick. All right. Seven, yeah. Seven, okay. So it looks like we got... Hit him in the two, heart. Yeah, two right in the heart. Or I guess one in the heart. Yeah, one's in the heart, one's in the... Kind of in the... Stomach area. Yeah. And we got one right here, which is kind of in the side, kind of by the appendix. So I'd say... For hollow points, I did pretty good. Those rounds aren't really as accurate as the uh, hollow or the full metal jacket. They also don't get as much range. No, they're yeah, catching they're a lot more of that like wind close range, which is good. Yeah. All right, so let's go and check out the uh, full metal jackets. All right. By Federal. These don't stick. Oh, flat, flat tip too. Yeah, these are one of a kind. Now I've seen videos on these ones where this model can kind of um, get out of battery or I guess uh, fail to eject. So we're gonna see if um, that happens. Hopefully not, but either way, it seems like it's been running pretty good. It does need to get broken in, so. You ready? Yep. Let's check her out. Well, it, it oh. got in there pretty good. Yeah, so let's, let's see it in. It All right, let's watch. Let's find out. Right. So that didn't. That went pretty well. That didn't have any problems. Yeah. It could have been the hollow points too. That's Who what knows? I'm thinking. I think Either that or it just keeps breaking in. Yeah, that's what I'm also. Thinking. It. Got another one here. Yeah, you hit him in the arm. arm. Crippled his arm. Hit Not him under. near his sack. He's not gonna be having kids anytime soon. <laughs> All right. That's not Honestly, bad. That was pretty good. Yeah. Not too bad. All right. We'll come back to the table and we'll do one last analysis of the gun. All right. Uh, one more thing about the trigger pull Did on this gun. So, it's about six pounds. So very light. The reset. Very smooth. We'll show you that one more time. Very uh, consistent trigger with the poundage. Works every time and yeah. Very beautiful. As you can see, it's a it's a really beautiful gun. Like the feel in your hand and the 
just the barrel and everything, just how it's made. Amazing, of course, by Kimber. Uh, if I could recommend it, I probably would. But at the same time, like Kimber makes good guns, but they are pretty expensive. They're known for that. Yeah, I was surprised when you said sixteen hundred. Yeah, because usually they're I like mean, that's with tax, but still. Oh yeah, true. Um, overall, I recommend it, and yeah, I, I, I'm loving it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.